So 10 years ago, you had an edition of the IDS Bulletin on Power, and I remember reading every word of it. It was really, really useful to me. So when I was invited to contribute to this one, I was just really pleased. And uh, I chose to tell the story of how at Oxfam we've progressed in using power analysis in our work over the 15 years that I've been with the organisation. So I, I've written that story. And being invited to write the article, having that space kind of forced me to really think through what have I seen, what's changed, how did it happen. It was a really good exercise in thinking about how change in an institution happens, how many people have to be involved, all the different pieces of a very complex jigsaw puzzle that have to kind of change over time. So to, to get to write that up and have to string it into sentences that, that would make sense to somebody who knew nothing about it was, was a really useful exercise because it forced me to reflect and, and understand for myself what it was I'd been a part of over the previous 15 years. The, the decision to be open access on this I think is, is really good. I've, I don't read every issue, I'm not going to pretend that I do, but when I do want to read it, I need to be able to get at it to do that. And somebody will say to me, oh, there's an article in such and such a journal, and I'll go to try and get hold of it. And because I don't work in academia anymore, um, I can't, there's a paywall in the way, and that is so frustrating. You have so little time to read academic material when you're a practitioner, that when you find something you really want to read and you can't get it, that's just seriously annoying. <laughs> You have to go and twist somebody's arm who is in academia to somehow get hold of it for you. You don't have the money. But mostly it's that it's so hard to make space um, to stay up to date in your field that when you can make that space, you need to be able to use it at the moment that you, you've got it and not have to wait a week to get hold of it. So for me, open access is part of that. Uh, for me personally, part of staying up to date in my field as a practitioner, which is really important, um, and, and the knowledge coming out of the ivory tower, of course, is crucial, and particularly with the current emphasis on research into practice. If we don't make the research easily and openly available to people, how are they going to put it into practice? Um, so for me, that's what, what's important.